screams aboard a WestJet flight moments after a collision with an empty Sunwing plane on the Pearson Airport tarmac last evening, prompting evacuations in the freezing cold. All of a sudden, there was a fire under the wing at this, on the Sunwing. We were on the plane beside the Sunwing plane. 168 passengers and six crew members were on board the WestJet flight that had just landed from Cancun. Swissport, which provides ground and cargo handling services, says the collision happened when one of their staff members was pushing back the Sunwing plane from the gate. Officials say that impact resulted in a fire in the Sunwing plane's exterior generator. A statement from Swissport reads, ensuring the safety of our staff, our partners and travelers is paramount to Swissport. We regret this incident and are cooperating fully with the Transportation Safety Board of Canada's investigation. Peel paramedics say a firefighter suffered minor injuries and a few other people were also assessed at the scene. The Transportation Safety Board deployed two investigators to the scene last night and says it will look at a wide range of things, including training procedures and evacuation protocols. Things that we're, look, uh, that we're going to look into is we'll look into uh, the, the, you know, the sequence of events during the evacuation. We, we also did obtain the uh, flight data recorder and the cockpit voice recorder from both aircraft. Okay. So we'll be analyzing that information as well. Both WestJet and Sunwing tell City News they won't comment on the ongoing investigation, but say they are cooperating fully. An airline pilot and aviation expert says though these incidents are rare, an investigation could take months. Now it's nighttime. Uh, less visibility, and then were they authorized in a proper fashion? Was the radio communication, communication done properly? Was it understood correctly? All these are the questions that will be asked. And then was WestJet where it should have been? Uh, it's like putting a, a piece a puzzle together. So they'll have a bunch of pieces, and then they'll have exactly an, a clear idea of, of what happened. The report will take many months to prepare. The GTAA says there were some flight delays last night as a result of the emergency response and extreme cold continue to affect operations today. WestJet says it's continuing to work with travelers who were in connecting flights at the time of the incident. We're supposed to be connecting with a flight to Ottawa. So we sat in the airport for several hours waiting for a connection flight that was supposed to hit, hit us at 9 o'clock. We sat on the plane for over two hours. And which time a representative from WestJet came on board, said the flight is cancelled, everybody please leave. Yeah. But how come we're here like more than half a day later and nobody even has an answer? For the remaining flights for the night, the GTAA is advising travelers remain updated on the status of their flights by visiting the airport's webpage inside Pearson Airport. I'm Faiza Amin for City News.